Oh, Cantweb. Oh, Cantwell. Cantwell? Cantwell, not Cantweb. Can't read well. <laughs> my family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady, and welcome to my channel. Alright, well, we are here today at Adam's Antiques. And we're here with Andrew. He might just take a nap. He might just take a nap here in the car while we go in and shop. No, you have to come in. You have to grace us with your presence. I might just take a nap. We're gonna go in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Well, unfortunately, the music was very loud today, so I am going to do a little bit of a voiceover, but the first piece I noticed was this coffee pot right here with the heavy moriage, uh, moriage, I guess, depending on how you want to pronounce it, but this was a really, really nice piece, and it was 20% off. I would looked at it in the past, but never really pulled the trigger, and after the last set of moriage did so well, I decided to grab it. In the back, there is a piece of Picard that was just beautiful with heavy gold. I was kind of drooling over it a little bit. I love Picard decorated china, so I decided I was going to grab that. And then I noticed there were more pieces, like the one in the back, um, and this one, and the teacup and saucer. And I was like, you know what? There's a lot of Picard in here. It's all reasonably priced after the 20% off as far as Picard Studios. And so I wanted to get it out and get a little bit of a closer look at it. And we did ask somebody to come by with a key. And here you go. So one of the pieces was Shalinor. You can see that's on the bottom. That piece was not Picard Studios, but Shalinor did decorate uh, pieces for Picard. The one on top was also a Picard artist. This was Picard. And uh, there were quite a few pieces that we ended up scooping up. And um, I was really pleased with all of them. Now, you can see all the Picard is missing. Um, there's some RS Prussia in there still that I resisted. I did. I left the RS Prussia there. <laughs> it's very nice, though. And uh, down here on the bottom, there were four remaining Picard plates. I left these behind. They were $40 a piece. And even with the 20% off, I just didn't see very high resale value in the individual plates. And so I left those behind. Oh, my gosh. Look. We had one of those. Did we sell ours? Yeah, we sold it. I can't remember how much it sold for, though. Yeah, it's one of those with the naughty dog. Do you remember what we paid for it? I think we paid 100 for ours. I'll have to look it up. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. I'm pretty certain this is a Hager glaze. I think it's called Peacock. They want $250 for this lamp glaze. Oh my gosh, it's magnificent. Oh, look at it. I can't remember if I filmed that the last time, but I'm almost certain that's what this is. Absolutely beautiful. I wouldn't want to ship that, but it's amazing. Looks like an Italian piece. Yeah, poinsettias. How much on that one? $18. I feel like that's a nice piece for Christmas, so I think I might grab that for Christmas. I kind of like the pattern on that plate. Ada G. Middleton, 1906. Unfortunately, there is a crack on the back of it. That's kind of a bummer. What is this down here? Is that a painting? I can't tell. I mean, it sure as heck looks like a painting. Old painted print, mother and daughter. Okay, I was gonna say, it looks like a print, but it also looks painted. That is pretty neat, I like that. $55. Cute. Did you see this? I like this. That's got a nice 20s look to it. Yeah, it's a painted print. 
They've got it on the back as an oil painting, but I'm like, you know, there's something about that, and that's what it is. It's a painted print. Look at this pretty lady. Alice something. She's interesting. She is $18. Pair of old man and woman statues. I'm a little confused. What about him? What does he look like? Interesting. He's got the lace on him. Arthur by Inez. I think it's Inez. Okay, so my instinct was correct. Um, it is California pottery. Inez California pottery. You can see these are all listed. I could not find any sold. But, um, yeah, California pottery. Very cool. I, I'm not, I was never familiar with that before, but um, I think I'm going to pass on it just because none have sold. But, I mean, compared to those listed, I feel like that's a pretty decent price. Also, is that a unicorn on there? No, it's a Pegasus, of course. See that light fixture up there? That's pretty neat, huh? $225. At first I thought it said $60 and I was like, quick, get it down. And then I realized it was $225. <laughs> Which is probably be a little bit more on par. Ooh, wee, look at this. That is $95. Is that $95? I think that's $95 for that piece right there. And that is amazing. That is a candlestick. It's a shame it's just a single candlestick because I love the texture on that with the trees. The trees are like three-dimensional. That is amazing. And it's such a shame. I thought maybe at first it was a vase, but now I'm realizing it's a candlestick. What piece do you think I was looking at? Oh, no, I wasn't, but that is quite nice. Is it signed? Where is it signed? Oh, right there. Cantweb? Oh, Cantweb. Oh, Cantwell. Cantwell? Cantwell, not Cantweb. Can't read well. <laughs> You're cute. Oh, boy. Um, no, I was looking at this one up here. This is the one I was looking at. I thought that was nice. I don't think I've ever seen it with that um, applied decoration like that. Yeah. Kind of interesting. And then, of course, I was, uh, I was checking out the angels and this down here. This is what I was looking at. This was interesting. It reminds me of a bottle that we had recently at the shop with the, um, it's etched, but it's gold etched. Mm. It's interesting. Um, 18 on that though. It's Rosenthal Donatello, 35. Look at that. Off. Yeah. So, uh, seven off of 35. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's a transfer. It's not hand painted. Mm. If it was hand painted, I would say yes, let's do it, but. I don't know. I've got a thing about transfer these days. What about this up here? Did you see this? This is signed. Funky. It is. It's signed. And dated 1998. Signed Art Glass Bowl 1998. $65. I know I've seen that before and I just can't think of it. You say 20% uh, off? You know what? No. Oh, yeah. No. Yes, 20% off? Yeah. I just don't know what 20% off even, but I think it's really pretty. Without knowing the signature, I think I'm gonna pass on that. Oh, I kind of like this piece. What is this? Hand painted Japan. How much is it though? Oh, $22. This is Bob's booth. I've realized that Bob has a booth at everywhere that I go. That's pretty much what I've decided. I don't know, I kind of like, it's like an Art Deco-ish looking scene. Art Deco-ish. I made that word up just now. Did you like that? That was good, right? Art Deco-ish. <laughs> I don't know, 22 though. 30% off. What do you think? Yes, no, nice little trinket. It's cute. Okay, that's what I get from you, it's cute. That's all I got. <laughs> you're depriving me of my nap. Um, come on, you're having a fun time. This was a really nice clock that I just wanted to show you guys because I thought it was very ornate and very beautiful and it was worth showing you. Now this rhino, I'm not sure if this is like a Franklin Mint piece or who makes this, but it was just a little baby rhino and it was absolutely adorable. I'm not even sure what the price was on it, to be honest. I just decided to film it because it was cute. Now Andrew has found these prints with this dog who is, I guess, 
playing with these birds and he found them interesting. I wasn't actually sure if they were prints or if they were original artworks. And so we were kind of taking a closer look. It was a series. There were actually two pieces there. Um, you can see they are, they do have a sticker on the back, but they look to be like a bulldog or a boxer um, playing with these birds. You can see there he's grabbing the tail feathers of that poor bird. <laughs> They're playing. It's it's a playing thing, I'm sure. Now, this is a booth that we have had very good luck at in the past. This is Bob's booth, and I don't know who Bob is, but Bob seems to have a lot of booths in Adamstown, and a lot of the stuff in Bob's booth is reasonable. This was a nice picture, which I feel like I picked up the last time I was here. This was kind of a moment of deja vu for me. I was like, you know what? I feel like we did this before. This is definitely, you know what? I think I'm going to put this back. There was a reason I passed on this the last time. <laughs> So I put it back. Now this booth was curious. They had these mounts, but they were all carved from wood and they were amazing. I thought that one was interesting. And in the back of the booth was this hall tree that held canes and it had these bears carved into it. They had it for 7,500 black forest bear tree, but you can see the little baby bears climbing in the top of the tree. And, uh, I would love to have a piece like that. I don't know where I would put it or how I could justify spending that sort of money, but it was really neat. Here's some mantle lusters, um, $6.25 for the pair. They are really nice mantle lusters. Here we've got a really nice cobalt piece. This one's $24. It's got the silver flakes and a little bit of a... Uh, Bolaconte in there. Nice little small piece. It's 25% off. I think I'm going to grab this piece because uh, I like the silver with the blue. I found I'm more drawn to the blue glasses recently, so we'll grab this. Don't remember these being here the last time, but this is a pair of crystalline glaze candlesticks. And I love that blue color. They're $15 for the pair. And uh, I really love those. So I don't see any damage to them. Looks like somebody stuffed them through, <laughs> stuffed them with t sticky tack to try to put a candle in there. But um, other than that, they're in good condition. So I'm gonna grab those very carefully, like this. <laughs> Ooh, wow, we! I just noticed this. It's twenty-eight dollars. It's on glass. Look, it's got a bird, the sun on it, and it's got the texture too. It is a perfume bottle, I believe. Is that what they got it marked as? Antique glass vase. Oh, or maybe it's a vase. I don't know. I really like it though. I love the bird design with the blue flowers. Very heavy enamel on that. $28, which I think is pretty fair on that. So I think I'm going to grab this. This booth is always very reasonable with their prices, and so this is one I always love to uh, check out. Usually when we're on a time crunch, I like make, I book it to this booth, and I'm like, all right, what do we have? <laughs> Today, it's this. Looks like they also have some more of these clamshells full of vintage ornaments. The last time I was here, I bought one um, because the kids broke a few of them last year because we decorate our tree in uh, antique ornaments. So it was nice to see the ornaments here. So I did grab one of these the last time, but I don't need more than one. So that's a really good price, $9.23. I mean, it's good pricing on those. And they've got their Pyrex down here on the bottom shelf. All right, so they have this beautiful teapot here that reminded me kind of of the Dragonware teapot we got a few weeks ago at, um, at Bedford. And I felt like it was a pretty good deal, 65. But there's just so many pieces that come with it that it makes me a little bit nervous. So I'm probably gonna pass on the teapot, but when I was pulling out the teapot, I noticed this piece hiding behind it. And um, let's check that out. Do you wanna fun sponge this for me? I've got it for 48 though. What am I doing? Fun sponging it. Careful because it's loose. Yeah, it's no bueno right there. Well, it just needs to be tightened, I think. It just screws in. Yeah, but that might not be the right piece for this, is what I'm saying. Oh, I know this, what you're this saying. This screw might not actually. Okay, I understand. 
Yeah, that screw doesn't move. So what, what it is is they married this piece to this base. Oh, okay. That's kind of a bummer. I think that's meant for that base. All right, I'll put it back. I don't know. I thought it was kind of neat. Yeah, the wobbliness makes me nervous. Otherwise, I don't know, 40, 48 makes me uncomfortable. So I think I'm going to set it back. The teapot. Yeah, especially on that fragile glass. The teapot is absolutely amazing and a fantastic deal. I'm just not sure that it's right for me, so I think I'm going to pass on that. Um, let's see what else we've got in here real quick, and then we got to get out of here. I kind of like that. I feel like that's deja vu as well. We picked that up the last time, maybe. Um, they've always got some really nice things stuffed in here, like this kitty. Oh my gosh. If I recall, that weighs a ton, so that's not really a shippable item. But they've got some fun pieces in here. We've got the face mugs up there. This is a cute little vase. Only, only 12, to 12 bucks. But anyway, I think we're gonna get out of here now. Fish is also lots of fun. I think we're getting out of here. We're gonna head up to the, to the front desk and if I see anything else, I'll let you know. All right, well, that was a pretty successful trip to Adam's Antiques. Our total spend there was... 800 bucks. 808 dollars. Uh, I'm very excited with all of the Picard. I feel like that was pretty good. I mean, yes, we did pay up for it, but Picard can sell very, very well, as evidenced by the mug we have listed right now that's over $200. It's just that hand-painted Picard. The quality of work that went into that stuff oh, is absolutely. just far superior. I mean, it's just beautiful. That's one of my one of my biggest regrets was selling a Picard plate that we had early on in one in the thousand dollar Eric haul that we did early on. We did a whole haul of China, and in that haul was a Picard plate, and that was one of my regrets that I sold. I wish I had sold that. So um, now I'm constantly chasing the Picard. And today was one of those days. You know, you talk about that, and I think it's kind of funny, like looking back on that. Yeah. Because we were like, oh my god, we're gonna spend a thousand dollars on stuff. Oh my god. Oh no, oh my god, like yeah, that's we, a lot it was, of money. Yeah, it made us really anxious to spend that money. That's a lot of money. That's oh my god. Now it's like, oh, I just went to the antique store and spent eight hundred. But it's oh, it's yay. it's just shows how much the business has grown since those days. Yeah. And yeah. it's fantastic. And it's not getting lugged up and down from the third floor anymore. Yes, we moved out of the third floor. Those were the days. <laughs> All right, well, we are going to get out of here now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We will see you next time. So long. What you got there? This is a German uh, pop carry bottle. It's got the applied top. You can see the drippy lip on it. I like it. This got... one is Andalusian. What is this, this one? Is, this is an etched bottle. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm glad you got something because I got so frustrated with this auction. I just said, you know what? I got some coins. Got me an iridescent vase. And that's it. A cent, a silver quarter, a cent. This is a George II. Large cent. 1835. That was only like 17 bucks. The large cent alone is like a $20 bill. I knew. I knew it was. That's why I sent you the link. I was like, look at these coins. Yeah, you did get on that. Um, this is called a case gin. Yeah. This is shaped like this because then it they evenly fit into crates for shipping. This one's a little later. Let's see. Then we got, oh, uh, F. Engel. This is a fairly common, but it's a Lancaster. It's a blob top. This one's probably turn of the century, late late 1890s, early 19s. Slug plate. Crown top Reading bottle. And another just a plain old blob top with the stopper still in it. Nothing special there. Good decorative, but that's about it. Very cool. You made out. Yeah, I did a, I'll, I'll do all right on this stuff. And this is all I got. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.